Welcome to Office Elevator, an indie horror game I found on itch.io. Uh, let's see. The story. Your boss has just asked you to grab some coffee, uh, coffee powder for the office, but your plans might take a turn for the worse. Office Elevator focuses on uh, solving puzzles and exploring a dark office building. Walk through this world while being chased by an unnerving monster and having to hide and dodge him to survive. Oh. You get the gist. So, let's get into it and see how it is. Hello, boss. Hey, look at the visuals. It's already beautiful to me. Hey, I know you're busy now, but I need to ask you something. A delivery man bought, uh, brought a package. Uh, I'm busy now, but I need you to do something. A man brought a package for the office. He is waiting for you in the parking garage. Please receive it and leave it on the in the on the HR room. I'll be waiting in my room. Please come find me when you're done. Little crappy, boring office. The dude just is like, hey, I know you're an office worker, but I want you to come to the garage. Hello, Debbie. It's my first day here. People are very welcoming. What are you doing standing in there? This is November 10th. Wait, 2001. The door is locked. Is this a restroom? I wonder if there's anyone I should really even talk to. Have you read about people missing here? I've seen it on the newspaper. This is so boring. Please don't talk to me. Oh, what are you doing standing there? In there? What does he mean by in there? I wish this was easier. I'll see if any of them have... Um, hi, may I help you? I'll see if any of them have anything interesting to say. I'll have to be careful about the stamina. My legs hurt. There are some people missing again. Okay, so it's just the only important thing the dialogue gives you in terms of story is... Who are you? Their first day as well. Wait. A lot of people's first day. Damn. How many people went missing and had to be replaced today, I guess, of all times? Let's see. I can't stand this anymore. Not in the mood right now. Stop with your nonsense! Please listen to me. Damn. Just arguing in the middle of the office space. What? You sit on the other corner of the room. Yeah. Problem? Who are you? Oh, maybe that's the boss just wandering. How about these people? This isn't appropriate. Oh god. You lost something. What's not appropriate? Are you the janitor? How's it going? I need to clean this part of the office today, just in case. Have you seen any of my screwdriver? I guess I can help him with his screwdriver unless someone, you know, took it or I'll be the one to take it. Oh hi, I was just coding some stuff. I've been very busy lately programming my game on my breaks. Okay. Maybe it's the developer themselves. Anyways, our stamina is kind of poopy, as you can see. We're just like... Hmm. As soon as we stop running, you can see just by movement alone, it takes a while to rejuvenate. So if we do... Uh, Semi-creepy. Like, it's so discernible. It just looks like the uh, that killer, the cheesy killer with the smiley face movie. That was really, really bad. Reminds me of that, though. Hello, people. Hi, mate. These girls back there are going crazy. I am kind of hungry. Are you guys like the Sims or something? You say about a girl going crazy and then you say you're hungry. Please stay away. I need to talk serious stuff. You know, yeah, serious stuff in the lunchroom. The public lunchroom. Bitch! Go in your own office to talk and fucking gossip then. Will you please give us some... Oh my god. Annoying NPC dialogue. The door is locked. This is the boss's room. I know you're busy. Oh, he's still asking. Okay, let's find a... We'll probably have to take this elevator. Nice. A working elevator. Any button will do, I'm sure. He's got to get the horror stuff happening, obviously. I'm just taking my casual pace. I don't know. Hmm? Ah. This van? This package? Uh, mouse wheel to change selected item. Uh, whatever. Yeah, this is 
No. I don't think there'll be any secrets or Easter eggs in the parking lot. So just, yeah, got the package. Now what's going to happen to our office space? It's just a quick departure, but it's a horror game. So something has to happen, right? And the lights are out. I'm going to be chased by some dude, supposedly. Well, he told me to go back to the office after I get the package. Uh, so the boss is locked in that room, huh? Is it the bald dude in this picture that's chasing me? Is that what's going to happen? The door is locked. He's a creepy looking old man. Might put it here then? They did tell me to put it in here. Mouse wheel to change. Hmm. I need to find November 10th, 666. Oh, wait. Just a plan. The power box should be this, then. Oh. Cool. Wait, was that not it? Hmm. Well, if it's not just all green, I'm going to suppose... The combination or the janitor knows. What? That's like a siren head fucking thing. What? Oh yeah, it's like this the spot head thing. The f We're gonna need the screwdriver. I guess you evade that guy. Okay, he's over there. Not sure if you can hear the sprinting, so let's just quickly check over here. Mm -hmm. With baby checks, what? Alright, uh, let me look around. Hang on. I need the power. I don't know how to start the power, so it has to be a code. Wait, what? Oh, I got a key card from the janitor. Okay, it was a key card on the floor. It's not baby birds, it's crickets chirping. Sound like birds tripping at first. But I got a key card, but it doesn't matter if I don't have power. So it's like, do I have to get a combination for the circuit board? I think I can hear the dude breathing and walking, but I think he's on the other lane. Oh. Never mind. Hmm? Wait. <laughs> Isn't it a little ironic? It, he has a spot head. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, bottom left, top, middle, that. Okay. Uh, wait. No. Top. There. Check the bathroom then. Ah. No! Uh, numbers, numbers, numbers? Numbers. Probably for the screwdriver. Um, numbers. Yeah, I'll need the screwdriver. Um, 666? Damn. Oh, well, I mean, I tried, whatever. Maybe November 10th. Um,. Which is... No, that's the 11th and 10th day. 11th month, etc. Um, okay, so if there's a puzzle solution for the circuit board, there has to be one for... Let me see if it's in this room, though. No. Oh, wait. Toolbox password, last three digits of the offices. Office... Maybe it's like something on the store page. Let me double check that. I just have to look around, I guess. It's not in the store. And we also obviously have to like get killed by it to see what kind of death animation it provides. Just give me a second. Ah, oh, wait. Uh, was it two one two or nine seven four? Wait, I think maybe nine seven four. I'll try that first. Wait. Which way is he coming? 
Okay, well, it either heard me and maybe hit the sprint key, or he saw me through a wall. Don't know. Aw, oh, come on, we have to do it from the start? Aw, oh, man. I sort of at least know what I'm doing, so it's no big deal. 974, though. We need the card and everything else. Actually, we need to put that in the box, right? I don't think the box even matters right now. But yeah, let me let me get this all done now. Alright, so it's the last three digits of the last number. So 295. Alright. Root 295. My stamina. Oh, my stamina. 295. Booyah. Take that. Alright, now we can. Beautiful. Two little. Oh, three. <coughs> All right. There goes the fence. Ah, uh, let's see. Just crouch. Oh, I'm decently clean. The toilet paper, even. Three toilet papers, respectable. No jump scare. I mean, we did. We obviously did see. You know, there's questionable blood. Just Someone had Taco Bell. Nothing murderous or significant. Hello, hello. I will jump in the garbage can. Is this the key to get out? It was. Oh. No. Oh. You just like coming by the room at the worst time. Purple card though. Um, we have the power, but only electronically. Purple, though. I guess that'd be for the, the other window room. We just have to wait for this dude to walk on by. We'll see the light and his breathing. I think we'll see his light. He should be gone. Just in case. He does open the door and come this way, but we got the purple card, so we just put it in here. Okay. Oh, what's this? Boss room key code. The first number is even. The second number... Oh, my God. I mean, the monster's going to come be coming here back and forth, so let's see. It's even. It's half of the first one. Double the first one. The sum of all three numbers. The fourth is the sum of all three numbers is 14. Hmm... I'll take a screenshot, I guess, and just think this uh, think this through without being caught. Because I gotta go in the bathroom. Or else... It's patrol path is like... It can see through the glass stuff. I'll just hide in the bathroom and I'll look at the puzzle and solve it on a piece of paper slowly, like a Sudoku. Alright, let's see... Let's say, like, for example, we do a puzzle like this. Let's go with six. We're doing... The first number is even, so six is fine. The second number number is double. I highly doubt it will be double six, so we can we can keep the first number has to be basically four or two. Let's just go with four instead of two. Yeah, then it's, it should just be four two eight then, yeah. I was on the right pace with the four, but then I was like, hmm, but eight and then negative half itself, hmm. And it was like, you know, I, I wasn't part, taking in part that the last number is double the first one. So yeah, it should just be four two eight. Okay, that was easy enough. Four two eight. Get out of the bathroom. He's bound to show up really soon. Fortuate, though? Okay. Excellent. Boss, you okay? Boss, you creepy evil, too. Hmm, well. Well, we got a gun. I guess we could kill it. Teleports after being shot. Hmm. 
not too threatening. It gives you a lot of chances to not die. I'd say, uh, we got one bullet left for myself, I mean. This reminds me of a game I already played, though. Didn't I already play a game like this? Or at least extremely similar. Well, I don't know, let's, uh, see a boss. I'm just gonna go home now. God, I'm pretty sure I played a game that's exactly like this. But I remember the, the mapping to the office layout, it was instead... ...sort of... ...N-shaped, or capital H-shaped. I remember playing it really well. I'm gonna have to type, like, office in my YouTube videos and see what one I'm thinking of. Because there's one that feels almost similar to this, except th this map layout was... Well, let's think, uh... Uh, a sideways J, I'd say, for the most part. And then the elevator. And the other map was, I mean, the other game that really reminded me of this one... It... Let me, let me see if I can find it. It was an office, but it was like... The office was at the top similarly, but then there was two hallways, and in between both hallways... Uh, would be like glass rooms. And then on the bottom... You know, it would be like a Roman numerals 2, actually. Maybe that'd be a better example, was, was what I can remember about the map. Let me see what other office complex I have. Or office-related videos. Get stuffed? 2019? Okay, no. I don't know what I titled it then. Yeah, I don't know, typing in office doesn't really bring it up, so I wouldn't know what I'd really... put. So... We'll just leave it as is, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what it reminded me of. There was an office horror game I played recently. Unless someone remembers for me, I have no idea. But, as for critique and reviews of this game itself, because it is $4, and it's by a developer I've not um, paid or played any of their games. I don't think I did, at least. Their previous games were Game.exe for $3, which I haven't played, but does look like sort of like one of those... Supposedly an atmospheric first-person horror game with old windows and some pixelated 3D stuff. And then another game called Whisperwind, which I also haven't tried. But the only unfortunate thing is just whether or not we can determine if it's worth it, per se. Because they have made games, and I wouldn't say it's a bad game. I, I wouldn't at all. I don't have anything bad to say. I st I don't know. It, for three, four bucks, I won't say it's not worth the money, per se. It is a short experience. I did beat the game in... 20 minutes more or less but whether you think it's a wor uh, four dollars is good for 20 bucks man eh, that, that, I'll leave that up to you this time but if you enjoyed office elevator for it, it being a short indie horror game at the very least even if it did remind me of another horror game that already exists which isn't to say you know I'm not saying that in a bad way but it just reminded me of something that already exists so it wasn't too unique of an experience to me but then again it's like finding it and thinking of good unique titles and unique horror games is going to be very hard especially as humanity keeps making video games it's just going to be less and less you know unique ideas it's going to be less and less of that stuff we already can see that in you know hollywood movies unoriginal but with that said and done I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.